And tomorrow morning, a slew of first responders, the Baltimore City Fire Department, and units from all across the country will honor one of their own. Dylan Ronaldo, posthumously promoted to captain after his death, injured in a fire in a row home that also claimed the life of fellow firefighter Rodney W. Pitts III. WJC's Live Tonight, Kelsey Kushner spoke to those who knew Ronaldo best. Hey, Kelsey, how are they preparing to honor him tomorrow? Vic, Rick, well, those who knew Captain Dylan Ronaldo say that he was loving, he was compassionate, he was a family man, and they say he always knew at a young age that he wanted to be a firefighter. We lost a true hero and a wonderful young man. Family friend and captain Dylan Ronaldo's mentor, John Cosgrove, says his relationship with the young captain was something special. I knew Dylan his whole life. When he joined the fire department, I had retired after 40 years in the service. And he came to me and asked me if he could take my badge number. Outside the Dudaruck Funeral Home in Dundalk, Cosgrove shared stories about Ronaldo's childhood in New Jersey. He says at five years old, Ronaldo was known as the firehouse kid, spending his days at the Fairlawn Firehouse, watching and idolizing firefighters just like his dad. His love for the job only grew over time. And I'll never forget how happy he was when he came into the firehouse and told me he had been hired by the Baltimore. Fire department. It was a lifelong dream of his. After spending several years volunteering in New Jersey, Ronaldo made the job permanent in Baltimore City. His time here was tragically cut short after battling a row home fire last month off Linden Heights Avenue. Ronaldo was just 26 years old and just six months shy from marrying his fiance Lauren. He represents everything that the fire service is all about. Cosgrove says Ronaldo was a true hero who was proud to protect and serve. There's no doubt in my mind that if Bill, Dylan Ronaldo had lived, that he probably would have been the chief of the Baltimore Fire Department. Now, the funeral is set to take place tomorrow at Cathedral of Mary, our Queen, starting at 10 a.m. We will be streaming that on CBS News Baltimore. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.